Welcome back to the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022 here in Kaunas, Lithuania. Myself, Hannah Pendlebury, alongside Christina Obermeyer, and it's the women's division. We have Pool A action in front of us. Latvia versus Lithuania, the hosts, with a little bit of a cheering section going on against their neighbours just north of the border. This is going to be a hotly contested match, we hope. Of course, still in pool stages. So all still to play for. This is about having position the easier crossover tomorrow morning. Uh, scuba across the top and lovely bit of toe work. Reznikaita brings it in. And that's the first nice clean hold for the Lithuanians. Well, a great positioning from the Lithuanians, moving from one side of the pitch to the other and making great use of those overhead throws. The ones where a defender has big trouble getting in between them and the receiver as we see as Nikaida with the one-handed grab making sure that she is in bounds 
So a nice, cool, calm opener to get us started. But the Latvians will need to respond in kind. Nice ball right to the back of the end zone. The Latvians were tested very well by the Ukrainians who'd had a bit of a soft start to the tournament playing against this Lithuanian outfit mainly made up of, well in fact entirely made up of DTS club players of course who uh, did pretty well at the European Indoor Club Championships the last tournament before Covid so of course this championship being the third attempt to run this European division and to Gassana on the far sideline this is all a bit about the reset action. Galavanova. Antigasina. Hesamaita and a lovely around flick break after the patient offence. It's an equally clean but much longer hold required for the Latvian team. Clean and calm, not as risky maybe, but also taken as is. So taking, as you said, more time to get there. Yeah, they're going to have to do something on defense to interrupt the rhythm of the Lithuanian flow. Because at the moment, the Latvians, they're happy to take the passes, which is what they did better in the late stages of their eventual victory over the Ukraine. But if you can grind away at your opponents with ruthless scores. So you see, coming under, Kajibuta. The big one going up for Kundalita. Can she roll it in? Oh, yes, she does. Bit of toe work. Gets caught on the net afterwards, though. The captain nearly getting an injury after keeping it in bounds. Big play by Kundalita there to get that score. And I do feel that indoors, getting that backhand is a little too easy. So I think that might be the first where we want to stop for sure is that backhand around because it's just I mean it's a great throw it's just easily defendable and it looks like Latvia is in the same energy level there uh, they had against Ukraine and I think that Lithuania will not be as close but will take advantage of that but we'll see Certainly still, still very early stages. Galavanova coming under. Took a bit of a knock in the last game. Went to go see the medic. It's going to overshoot that one. Gets behind Linda Gulba. So Schlamaita with an opportunity here. There's the resets around for Janata. Might a nice grab and it easily sets up the backhand inside attack. Ruta Gudvalaita with the goal for the Lithuanians. After some nice pushing forward, and that is a break of score. 3 1, they're going to lead. Coming first. in first seed to this tournament. Latvians seeded fourth. This is so on paper, we'd expect this one to go in the favour of the Lithuanians. It looks like a, that for now, but it ain't over for quite a bit. Teams are just getting warmed up. So, so see Latvia. So we've talked about the Lithuanians being all from one from club, one, right? Yeah, from the GS. But Latvia is actually from three clubs: from Salaspils, Ogre, Moments, and Zero Riga, which our old teams, well, most of the teams I haven't heard about yet, but that might just be me not knowing the, ult the Latvian ultimate scene as Casino's in front of their end zone. Oh, a high stall, just last gasp attempt there for the goal, comes off good. Finds goal, but does answer Gassina. But yeah, the Latvian team, we talked about it in their last game, it was quite a late selection for this final 10 squad. They've taken the minimum number of players. It's so not really given themselves much leeway in terms of if there are injuries or someone's having a bad day. But they are all so fit that I'm not surprised. They want to keep it small and work on those connections. 
I think that's how Latvia Ultimate has done it before. To be fair, we're talking about the short roster. Actually, the Lithuanians only have 10 players as well. They look longer because they've got slightly longer names on our rosters. Shlomaita eventually takes that open space backhand. Good for Leiter grinding it in the end zone. Just gets herself open. A beautiful flow from, from Lithuania. Don't seem to be disturbed by the defense Latvia puts up against them. Beautiful gainer there. Quick pop and then faking out her defender with all the advantage they needed. Yeah, perhaps not quite staying on the open side there, trying to do it all on a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's nicer to see players come ask for a little bit of help when you're one-on-one -on -one in the end zone. You're never going to win that matchup unless something rather strange happens. Anja Gassana finds Gulba. It's a big play to the end zone, laying out into the back corner. Galavanova. Unable to make the clutch grab, throws herself on the floor, looks pretty good doing it. That she did, that was an am amazing play, but couldn't quite catch it in rounds. Petra to hits Basel. Easy one hand up. Oh, Ansha Gassina coming through like a thief. Gulba. Happy to just throw the toss. You can see how much Bastos wants it back. Bilba with a nice toss. Easy does it. Eventually, a much more simplistic way to score. Real in by Melanesia Galavanova. So after the big spicy blady put all it takes is a little nearly a push pass just a almost a casual dad barbecue backhand that's enough didn't need to go that far just a few meters we saw for a little bit lithuania did their zone setup in the end zone trying to cover as much ground as possible but latvia obviously know how to play against that and play it work through it Kundalita, the captain. High release backhand. That is Nikaita around. Finds Lamaita nicely. Another inside backhand toss. I think that pass up line will stay. But uh, an ability for Vegnere to catch up, I think. Short discussion. It looks like. Look like there's still a discussion. Just everyone positioning themselves where they were when the call occurred. They need to find a reset. Oh, throws a hammer over the top though into the soft side of the end zone for the score. Reznikaita picking up another goal for Lithuania. Clean hold for Lithuania this time. Yeah, they look really composed. They look like nothing can really startle them. Well, they have that advantage. They're 5-3 up in this game, but only the one break. And Janis Bandans, the coach for the Latvians, will be giving them some choice words, I'm sure. I bet he, he will. Very active coach, always giving more input, which I think is a great thing to have. You can't accuse the man of not being committed and not caring a whole heap of a lot. Lovely reaching, leading up line pass. Well, that looking to just grind this one out. Gulba. High release, but it's going to be taken away by Kundalita. She smacks a lot of Lara Samieta. But it's good enough. No call made, no foul. It was a bit of a loose execution on that disc. So the Lithuanians, another chance for a break. Lovely throw from Bassus, but it's going to be just out of bounds. Gundelita immediately calls it. Still makes the catch, but 
she knows even she cannot make an inhuman effort. And she gets in it. If anyone could do that, it, was, it would be her, in my opinion. But Lots of space on that break side. Has to chuck it up line. Gulliver, again, with those slightly risky ones, but clear channel to Kalavanova. Gulba Jinkin, Samieta. Working alongside. Another backhand just towards that front cone. Is that going to be called on the line? No, it's called a score by the looks. And a lot of Samieta is going to pick up the goal for Latvia. 5 4 to the Lithuanians. Over there, miss missing a, a very open player, but puts it right there anyway. No harm, no foul. So sitting behind the one break, our team Latvia in this women's division here at the European Ultimate Indoor Championships. The host nation out in front. As they go up line, oh, and a cheeky scuba. I love that release in motion. Finding Gintare Petruskaita. That was amazing flow from the, this Lithuanian side. She caught that disc in full stride and then immediately went for, for the scuba. She didn't even stop. Nope, no pivot set, so therefore no travel. Cheeky, cheeky. Julia Petrovaita. So Latvia needs to respond. Grava looking a little bit hesitant. Samieta coming under. Easy resets for Gulba. The two players cutting each other off. Somebody needs to just commit to the... Oh, my... Okay, no one needs to commit to the reset space because that was such a nice throw with vision from McGrabe. That high release backhand. Samir to, to Kalavanova. Samir to being given lots of room this close to the end zone. Oh, and that is a lovely throw. The Latvians have opened up their eyes, put their reading glasses on, adjusted the binoculars and thrown all over this pitch. Indeed, they have finding the open space and not doing anything fancy or daring because they do fear of keeping possession, of losing possession, rather. But what they're doing is like opening up the right spaces for, for their isolated cutters. Absolutely, and it's still, as I say, that Lithuania is coming out on offense, makes the scoreline feel worse than it actually is. But you're right, the Latvians playing within themselves a little bit, trying to put the pressure on, on defense. A big one going up to Kundalita. The talisman at the back of the pitch, which is nice. Hammer over the top, it's very bladey. Oh, it's going to be bobbled. Can't connect with Vavora Kundalita. Tries for the second effort, but that disc just too wobbly out of her hands. Yeah, in the game of pinball for one, she gets no extra balls. The deep shot immediately going to Lolovska. Bratula resetting. Oh, and just an easy one. Oh, I say easy, right in the pocket. But a good grab for the Latvians. And we're going to be leveling it up. That's the break back on serve at six apiece. That was a trust shot there. You can see her nodding her head and then throwing it. And she's like, OK, I trust you. You, you can do that. Go ahead. To be fair, she had the window and the cut developed. But great catch up and attack of Minchin Skinner. Yeah, but she was, the defense was really close. That's what I mean. She closed up the gap. Oh, the yeah, initial, sorry, when yeah. the cut was developing, there was a gap there. Was, there was plenty of inches to throw that assist. 
Bora Kundalita over the top. Just sat that in the perfect pocket. And a good way to respond to the break from Lithuania. It was a beautiful hammer. Again, Kundalita in cover, actually. But just enough trust from Petrovaita to put that up. But I tell you what, the Lithuanians couldn't get five on the line there. They were asking for their teammates to come on. Both of these two teams only have 10 on their roster. And at the moment, the Latvians look very calm and very composed. In moments like this, I really enjoy sitting here and watching them run. Oh, I don't know. I, I quite like running indoors. Yeah, me too, but I'm currently hurt. So it just well, really wouldn't give me much pleasure to do that. Good thing it's our job to sit here and chat gas then. Yep. Gravi. That's great. And it's a zone from the Lithuanians. Trying to confuse the space, make options difficult. Oh, and there it generates the block. Not sure what happened there. In terms of the spacing of the Latvians, leaving Kalavanova a little bit on an island. A little bit, but she had the option to go back and around, which I really like indoors because you don't have that much space. And she decided to go with the 50-50 shot. It's like she didn't see it. She didn't maybe got a little bit louder, yelled, communicated a bit more, said, we're over here, throw to us. But opportunity for the Lithuanians is squandered. Luta again for the the intended target, but just a miscommunication on the shape of the cup. But too far out in front. We'll give Latvia an opportunity to hold possession. So the set piece, a bit of switchy defense from the Lithuanians, stopping that vertical flood stack. It's good switching to just slow down the Latvian offense. That's better for expanding over the top. Gulba. Oh, nice distraction for Kalavanova. And streaking through to the far side, Laura Samieta. Yeah, she opened up that window just in the right second. She recognizes the disc goes to the other side of the pitch and she's in a really good position. And the defender was close as well, but not close enough. Well, it was all that team offense. Kalavanova did a really great job of streaking deep on the same side of the pitch as the disc. So we see a sliding grab from Kundalita. Gonna need a reset. Getting to almost seven. Oh, just over the hands of Veronika Mikulica. And a goal over the top, Resne Kreiter with the hammer score. Those hammer scores never get old. We Kreiter's. love a hammer. Hmm? Give us what we want, yeah. overheads, overheads. More hammers, please. Can never get enough. See the replay here. No, that was really open. Olovska was there physically, but focused on face guarding their opponent. So it's really hard for her to react in the right, like right amount of time. Because she'll never, she'll never be quick enough to know where that just goes up. Oh, nearly steals the disc away as Gintare Petriskaita. Trying to play smart defense and it's working pretty well. The switching to try and stifle the flow. And there comes the block. Bassus with the run through. That's an opportunity for Lithuania now. And a big hammer hits the ground. Well, this game back on serve. So these break opportunities that are squandered will mean everything. Later stages. Just over half the regulation time expired. Samaita to Gulba and to Gassina. Bit of a miscommunication there as 
one Latvian player was always very open in the handler set. Well, they're trying to play switch off defense and communicate, try and just sandwich the players. Lovely one-handed grab from Linda Gulba. Oh, and just over the top, beautiful. Lead pass for the goal. Katrin Antsigasina put Latvia back on the level. Such a beautiful put just over the head of the receiver. No chance she would, no chance the defense would get there. And perfectly floating into the end zone for her to run under it. Look at that. What a beauty. And then getting that grab early. Mm. Really recognizing the fact that Gintare Petraskaita had really been baited in. She'd, uh, it's a strange moment, but that happens on defense. Sometimes you get suckered in towards the disc. And you really should be thinking about the one place the opposition can really ruin you, the end zone. So Lithuania with the disc. This is a galaxy point off, first to the tournament in this women's division. Big hammer over the top, Kundalita with the goal, and that is 9-8, Lithuania. What a way to end that first half and get the Galaxy point. That was a quick offense, and Latvia really just said what they did all half being calm and really not letting the pressure of Lithuania, that is really not getting the defensive pressure to like to change their game offensively well as the athletes on the pitch take a little bit of a break so will we we'll be back with a second half action after these messages Second half here in the women's division group stages between Lithuania and Latvia at the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022. The hosts in white with the disc in hand coming out on defense to start this second half. They're currently one ahead of their opponents. If they can hold this one, it will be to their massive favor Having played so well in the first half, a big disc is going to go up into the end zone. Yeah. Just sailing over the fingertips of the athletic stature of Linda Gulbert, a very tall individual. It was a beautiful shot, but gave the defense too much time to pos position themselves better. It was also a tiny bit high, a couple of inches lower, that might have been good. Straight into the end zone, though. Bassus with the break. There you go. This is what it should have looked like. Well, Bassus is a much shorter player, to be fair. You can't throw an absolute sky ball with the rest of these very limmy individuals out and about on the court. That is true. Resnick Haita. But that's the difference maker. These DTS players, a single club representing Lithuania, once more at the indoor European stage. So the Latvians pinned to the back of their own end zone. Gulba far side. There's Kalavanova coming under, doesn't like the look of it, gonna have to throw a releasey blade. Grabe with the grab. 
dish, is it? Samyeta. Dish is back. Kalavanova looking a little lost for options, finds the reset. Oh, a little bit behind. Just enough separation, and there's the around break to Gulba. A clean hold for the Latvians after getting break it broken to start this second half. They this can time around, working well with the space, moving from one side to the other, and Gasina turns from catching to throwing so quickly, giving the defense no time to react, and also puts it into a great space for Gulbe to get that goal. So we've been flirting a lot with the idea of DTS having done quite well at the last tournament before COVID back in 2020. Those European Indoor Club Championships in Herning, Denmark, they actually did win that one. So sitting pretty on one European gold and that's pretty offense to show us exactly the kind of play that got them there against this talented Latvian side. Do you know who they won against? Honey? I do indeed. They beat SUFC Valkyria. Yeah, do you know who makes up most of the Swedish national team? Oh, yeah. Valkyria SUFC. plus Odeblo yeah. with a couple of other clubs representing alongside Rep so the Swedes. We might. Oh, heck yeah. We might well get a, might uh, well rematch. Get a re rematch. But a national rematch. Of course, this is the uh, reflected in the initial seedings. That was the sort of basis for how this women's division was seeded. Eight teams strong, two pools of four underway initially, then crossovers. So Finishing bottom of your pool is not the end of the world, not the end of your campaign. However, it does mean you have to play top seed in the other side of the bracket. So tricky stuff. Then advancing, of course, straight into quarterfinals. Gilbert, far side. Squeaks out the around to Karabe. Shooting straight in the middle of the pitch. Samieta tilts the head, pops it back. Grab it. And Gulba working the back together. Oh, it's a lovely blade, but Bassus has got eyes for it. Knocks it out of contention. Things hotting up. Testing Bassus with a daring shot, and she gets the better off it. Both these teams play a lot of indoor, so they know the format well, but that one's going to sail over the head of the intended receiver. That was very good defense by the Latvian player. She pushed her opponent so far into the disc that both over jumped as Latvia now are in their red zone. But they make an error of their own. Not sure what happened to the arm of Grabe there, but she's a little nurse of it. Bring us back in play. The Chinaita. Great grab there. No, oh, nearly some friendly fire. Much is gonna just making sure Bassus now with the inside backhand release doesn't make it too hard. And that one on one in the end zone exploited again. Seen it all over today. One on one matchups are the place you do not want to be as a defender in an end zone indoors. Really not, because these shots aren't the hardest to execute. So much time. And oh speaking no. of time, a timeout's just been called. So the Lithuanians are asking us to take a little bit of a break, regain their composure, sitting, of course, up by two breaks in this second half, looking like they are in charge of this game. But we'll be right back after these short messages. that brief repose 
Uh, we didn't give you any ad stabs because we just want to keep you on the edge of your seat in this hotly contested game between the two neighbours, Latvia, Lithuania. And the hosts in front, that first seed. We mentioned uh, their opponents at the European club level for DTS. Of course, as you say, the Swedes coming second are seeded second in this tournament. Makes sense. Whereas Latvia coming in number four. Definitely does make sense. Not so sure if Latvia attended the last. That club event. Well, we'll have to double check the standings. Samieta. A little bit pinned to that far sideline. Squeaks one through to Gulbe. Scuba over the top, going to be run down. Bassus with the attack, but a bit too much body contact, says Katrina Tegasana. See a replay right here. There is a lot of body contact. It's a touchy contest, that's for sure. They will discuss. There is a little bit of a lean back from Bassus. There is, and uh, the, the disc is behind both players. And I think that makes for the contact. Because they are moving in that one direction, instead of the disc moving with them, it like turns back, as the scuba does. Well, Bassus is happy in terms of you know giving the foul. Says that, yep, not going to contest it. Accept that almost immediately. Good communication there. Squeaking it through Kalavanova, working super hard, using every little piece of her speed. Big one over the top. Oh my goodness, what a grab. Nice hands from Linda Gulba. Reeling in that score for Latvia, and at long last they punch one in after the two on the bounce for Lithuania. So 12-10, the score now. See that replay here. Goes back even further just to open up more space in the end zone. And then a very bladey hammer by Gra Grabe to put another point on the board for Latvia. They're trailing by two. Well, let us know in the comments who you're supporting. Are you back in the comeback? Or do you want the hosts to continue leading the charge here? Nice upline for Travaita. Bringing it back a couple of steps. Good elite. Catches the bladey one with both hands. Right in front of the face. If that had gone right, would have been painful on the nose. But a pick goal is going to bring us back. Rewind the VT. Back She's to Kundalita. Back to Kundalita. So they've managed to move from one side to the other side of the pitch. A little bit of chance for all these uh, players to talk to each other, just figure out what they're doing. There is a hammer space available, a one-on-one -on -one in the end zone. But they're happy to take it because the stack is in the way. Hammer over the top, though. There it comes eventually, just hanging out in that end zone. The number 11 of Lithuania, Ruta Gidvelaita. Just waiting her turn for that hammer to... Oh, Happen over the top and a timeout called again by Lithuania. Clearly using all their energy, giving themselves that much needed break to just chill out. And you cannot call it another timeout in the last five minutes. We are currently at seven minutes and 15 seconds to go. It's a smart use of the time allotted to you. Very much so, especially because, both, as we've mentioned time and time again, both teams only have 10 players. And it they have been playing all day. So they both of them have played two games before? Two games each. So this third game is, game is where energy level slowly begins to drop and your legs get a little heavy. Indeed, and in these pools of four, it's three games per day. And then it will be quarter and semi-finals tomorrow after those crossovers. First game would be 8 o'clock. And then there's only finals on Sunday, is that Indeed, right? Indeed, just finals on Sunday. A short day for us, finals, and final and placement games. So you've, we got your, we'll be bringing you the bronze matches as well as the golds. 
So you will loads of live frisbee this weekend. Indeed, and especially two, tomorrow. Two cameras covering the mixed division tomorrow. You've got the bougie coverage because obviously we're not featured it today. Christina will be largely in charge of that division oh, all day man. tomorrow. As these women's games lay before us. Oh, Bassus getting just enough of the fingertips on the disc to deny Antigatina. It seems like that timeout got put back some energy into her defense with the pressure. I'm not sure she's let off the gas at any point. Kondalita reaching high into the sky. Mika Vichuta, a big bid from Samieta. Look to me like she, she maybe tripped a little bit. By the way, the look of pain on her face was apparent, and it's just an easy post through the letterbox of the front corner of the end zone for the next Lithuanian goal. 14-10, they lead now, three points shy of the hard cap. And Latvia's flame looks a little bit snuffed out right now. A bit, yes, because this, these Lithuanians, they don't seem to be startled by anything. They're just playing their offense. And they, I mean, they recognize the strengths of Latvia's defense, but they don't play any differently because of it. Well, some of the shots that the Latvians have been taking seem to be forgetting that there is hot defense on them. They've got windows that are perhaps against a slightly less feisty opponent might be on. But when you've got players like Bassus that are hungry, hungry for blocks, Nearly the redemption there for either Samiete or Gassina. Yeah, but this is giving your all, you know, laying out after that disc. Oh, and just adding pain to misery are Lithuania now. But Chinaita running up that line, taking advantage. It makes an easy dish. 15-10 now, the score, Latvia trailing the Lithuanians. See that perfectly set up offense. She's the only person in the stack, comes under for an, a shot that is basically same level, and then go up the line because that is the one thing that is hardest to guard just in front of the end zone. So, and everyone else is out. Gives a lot of space to the person who just had the disc in their hands. You Great can stuff. really tell that DTS play together very often. You can really tell that you're muscling against European champions. If you're Latvia right now, a high one over the top, right in the mixer. Perhaps a little bit too much lack of energy from Elena Vegnere. Just standing in the middle of traffic, four lanes. But just a flat flick to Bassus in the front corner. And I think we're going to see this one maybe. Well, it's definitely going to go to 17. I would agree, since it's 16.10. Yep. <laughs> I was just looking at the time we have left on the clock, about two hours, not two hours, two minutes and 43. I mean, I'm, I would personally be, I find it hilarious if this game was two hours long. I was just going to say two hours. It's very realistic because we have two hours more of live streams for you guys. Oh, that's true. For your viewing pleasure. Well, technically nearly three. Because this, this, obviously that last game slot starts at 7 p.m. local time. We're here for a full 12 hours. 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. More or less. But of course, we were here at 7. We put in the work for you guys back home watching these live streams. If you want to support us fiscally, as well as just bashing that like and subscribe button, obviously, because that doesn't cost you anything but a couple of kilojoules of energy. As Samaita goes up that far sideline, lovely giving a going action and just jumping into the end zone. Not quite, Antikrasina. Gonna have to pop it back. Samaita trying to go for those give goes just to tow it over the line. Latvia have started playing zone again. Hasn't worked that well for them. It doesn't That's work out this time. <laughs> Gulve demolishes it with a single strike. But the Lithuanians just trying to run down and see if they can get it, if they can punch this possession in nice and clean. That will be game. Also, if you're up five points. Play zone. 
yeah. play zone. Yeah. Just keep keep some energy, try and preserve some of it. Well, it's also at this point the Latvians are very clearly quite frustrated. This is not the style of offence they came out to play. This is not the game they wanted to face against the number one seed. They'll probably be in with a decent shot of maybe playing them at some point during the bracket if they can advance to the same stage as each other. Lovely upline cut from Lithuania, though. That's beautiful stuff. Not straight away for that immediate pass. I don't know if you can call it upline if it's like two-thirds of the field. Oh, no, it's still up that line. Yeah, I know. The shape of the shape of the cut and an easy one-two for the goal. But Chinaita posts that one into the palms of Aida Mikovacuta. And that is game. Lithuania 17, Latvia 11. What a, what a performance by Lithuania. They clearly showed up for this game. They knew this was probably the most important one today. And they just played better, used the opportunities, and were just really impressive. They have been fantastic. A really great performance from the hosts sitting in that well-deserved first position coming into these standings. So they'll take wins over Latvia and the Ukraine. They haven't played the Danes yet. That's yet to come later on this fine evening. No, I take that back. I lie. Lithuania did play Denmark and they beat them. So that's three wins. That sees them at the top of the standings. We, of course, have another game straight up, though, for you. It's going to be the Dutch versus the Swedes. It's going to be a great oh, game. Spicy. Oh, heck yeah. I We're going to watch, watch that. that. Yeah. And hopefully so are you. We will see you on the other side for more Women's Division.